Tēnā koutou katoa, no mai and welcome to the live stream of Okorero with the local body candidates for the 2022 or Portuguese local body elections. My name is Ivor Jones and my family and I call a Portuguese home since we moved here from Rotorua in 2011. As a resident that will be voting in this year's election on the 8th of October 2022, I was interested in asking the mayoral and council candidates if they would have a korero with me about who they are and why they have applied for the positions they have. I work in the digital media field and the intention of this cast is to raise the awareness of the Apotiki community in terms of the characteristics and qualities of those people who are seeking to serve the community. I have spoken directly to several candidates about this idea and a number are supportive, including today's guest, Dean Peterson. Tēnā koe, Dean. Kia ora. A YouTube channel exists that will hold the videos of our conversation so they can be referenced in the future. All candidates receive the same 10 questions upon which our corridor is based, which should be around 15 to 30 minutes in length, and I hope that you find it of value. I would like to welcome Dean Peterson. Dean is standing for one of the two positions of councillor in the Waiaweka Wai O Tahe or Taro Ward. Dean states that Dean is a very successful businessman and is very passionate about Opotiki and the development of the harbour and the muscle farm and will be a very productive councillor and he is not afraid to ask the hard questions. Tēnā koe, Dean. Question number one for you. Who are you? And why are you running in this election? My name is Dean Peterson. Uh, I'm married to Sharon. We have got four children, two grandchildren, born and bred in Apotiki. Schooling in Apotiki, went to Apotiki Primary School and then went to Apotiki College. Um, and then after that, um, yeah, just went out really on our own and get onto the, to, to the dairy industry and worked up through the ranks. We did actually leave leave at Potiki for seven years and share milking. Like within that time we actually we won the actual um, Bay of Plenty Share Milk of the Year competition. And um, every time we entered that we always won the uh, financial side of that which gave us great access to banks and um, and that kind of thing. So um, and plus I think yeah we, we need an experienced rural voice on council which I don't think we have um, seen for a little while. And now I'm lucky I've, I've stepped back a little bit from, from our farming experience, uh, farming operation and um, have a bit more time possibly to put, I can see, to put back into our community. Excellent. Thank you, Dean. Question number two, what do you see as the biggest challenges facing your community of a Portuguese? You've indicated that you'd like to add a rural flavour to the council table. What do you see as the biggest challenges facing your community of a Portuguese? Well, there's, there's a lot of challenges like global warming, environment, rubbish, youth, just to name a few. Another one of the problems I can see is, is there's been a lot of funding from central government um, given to the Potiki district. That is a great thing. But the problem is moving forward is actually if those assets become um, owned by the Potiki people or the council, is actually paying for those um, assets moving forward. That'll be a burden on the ratepayer. So we have to keep a close eye on our costs. Excellent, thank you. Question number three, if elected, what do you hope to achieve by the end of the term? First of all, I'd like to see a council that works uh, together as a team, um, possibly, yeah, and with the iwi and the community um, to move this town forward. I think for rural ratepayers, we actually pay a lot of rates that goes into the pool, but we don't see a lot of Outcomes coming out. I think the council needs to be seen to be actually spending some money in in the rural area, and that's what I'll be pushing for. Question number four: What do you think the role of local government is in shaping the future and success of our community of Apotiki? I think it's that we make the decisions for Apotiki with ourselves, for ourselves. We need to keep our council. As a Potiki council, there has been talk before about, you know, incorporating other councils 
just like Auckland has done, is inco- I don't think that is a great idea. We need to look after ourselves. And as I said before, involve the iwi, involve the community, and move this town forward. We've been given a great opportunity with what we've been given with this funding, and we need to work with that. Thank you, Ding. Question number five, what do you think is your most important attribute that you see as an asset or contribution to the council table? You've already indicated in your intro how you were farming, but you're focusing on your business now. And that could be, um, you know, an asset that you might bring to the council table. What do you think are the assets that you bring to the table? Yeah, well, I think honesty, integrity and openness is a big thing. Um, and, and as you said before, not hard, not, not scared to ask the hard questions. But yeah, working up through the ranks of um, running three farms, staff, you know, payouts of um, dairy farming, you know, they fluctuate so much. Understanding how you can be frugal and knowing when to pull back and when to spend money. And so I'll bring my experience in, in the business to move forward. Excellent. We are up to question number six, and this is where I segue into this. Ask people to go to odc.govt.nz. Click the 2022 election button. Scroll down to nominate a candidates. And you'll find Dean listed in here. Please go and have a look at Dean's profile. And if you can... Go and have a look at all this other information as well. It's a lot. I've had to go through it to update myself on what's going on. If you've got some time, go and have a look too. Just a bit of an update for folks. Question number 16. How do you envisage working with others in council, especially those who you don't agree with? There's a lot of different personalities. I'll be, If I'm lucky enough to be voted in, I'll only be one seat at the table. So you've got to be respectful, listen to others, take time to think what they are talking about. The biggest thing is I think probably pick your pick your battles and then know when to back off. But look, you've got to have robust discussion. And I will not hold grudges. I'll put my point of view across. At the end of the day, it's a vote. And then you move forward. Excellent. Number seven, what are your thoughts around the role of local and central government? What could be improved? Um, I have ex- pr- practical experience in the rural area and, and understand the dynamics of this part of our community and just bring a strong voice to the table. Excellent question. Number eight. How would you lead your community through challenging times such as a natural disaster? Well, first of all, um, we've got low-lying farms. Uh, make sure my family and um, my staff and all our stock are safe. Um, like with that tsunami warning, um, we had to make sure all our stock um, moved to higher ground. Then I assume um, civil defence um, should have taken over by then. And then... Um, be in contact with them uh, where I could help or or where I needed to go. But um, I assume there should possibly be a councillor or the mayor should be in that office with, with the civil defence. And then, yeah, just hopefully we would get a phone call or how it works, I'm not exactly sure, but that's what I'd, I'd like to see how it works. Excellent. We are up to... Question number nine, how do you plan to connect with all parts of the community to ensure their voices are heard? Dean, you've talked about the business, rural, uh, the rural community that you represent. How would you connect with all parts of the community to ensure a wide range of voices are heard? What I'd like to do is have a small group of like businessmen, some props possibly from the iwi, possibly from farming group background and possibly from the orchards. And once uh, we get a topic pop up and there is a lot of discussion about it, I'd like to move to those those people and talk to them and get a bit of feedback from them moving forward. So then the whole community um, can put a bit of input into some of these major decisions. 
through reference groups that you'll consult with and get feedback from those mm -hmm. those groups yes number 10 elected members must act in the best interests of their community and declare any interests they could be perceived as a conflict to being impartial do you have any interests that could be perceived as a conflict of being impartial short answer is no um, i don't think so but just thinking out loud maybe i'm a shareholder in the whakatau muscles if down the track muscles come over through the groin points and there has to be a cost with that i assume that would be a conflict so i'll just have to step aside and let the other councillors work on that but um that, that's the whole idea of, of, of getting those groins in because have that muscle farm out at sea there we need to get those boats coming into a pariki and stop them from going into wakatani and getting trucked back across here to our factory we need them coming in that bar and yeah i, I hear possibly the some of that wharf area is, is not going to be completed for another two to three years so what we need to possibly look at is some other way of getting those boats into the old Pauke Wharf and maybe mm. get them unloaded there. But so that's possible. That's something to look at. Lots of work. Lots of work to do. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Dean, for giving me your time and for sharing your story as you work to become a councillor for your community of Portuguese in 2022. I'd like to thank Alfano for tuning in, and I hope that you are now more informed about our candidates and that this has helped you to make an informed decision when you vote on the 8th of October 2022. Please like and share it around. Namahi Dean, thank you for coming along and talking with me. Cheers, thanks very much.